Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I missed last week's upload. I was super busy with a bunch of college application stuff, but I officially have all of my college applications in. I applied to eight schools. So now all I have to work on is my scholarship applications, which is still definitely a lot of work, but it is so much less stressful than the actual applications. I'm just so glad that's over with. So now I'll have more time to focus on YouTube and put out awesome videos for you guys. So for today's video, I'm going to be answering you guys' assumptions about me. So on my Instagram, which by by the way, you can go follow if you aren't already. I posted on my story a poll and you guys asked a bunch of questions, or not questions, assumptions about me. Most of you guys don't actually know me in real life, so I thought it would be interesting to see what you assumed or thought of me just based on what you've seen in my videos. Without further ado, I'm just gonna hop right into it. I have my phone right here and I've got all the questions in my notes app, so let's get started. Okay, so the first assumption I have here is you're a good student. I'd say this is true. I definitely try my best in school. It's always been a big priority of mine to get really good grades. I want to go to a good college and I definitely want to like further my studies. I want to go into the medical field. So basically I have to get really good grades to do that. So yes, I am a good student. The next one is you have a boyfriend. I actually got a lot of these. I do not have a boyfriend. I have never had a boyfriend and it's not really something I'm ashamed of. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird. Most teenage girls have had like a boyfriend or a relationship at some point. I haven't, but I'm fine with it. And it's my senior year and I plan on leaving the state to go to college so I'm not really looking to get in a relationship this year but who knows what could happen I don't know okay next one is you're rich I definitely don't like to say that I'm rich but I am definitely very fortunate I've never had to worry about food or shelter or clothing I'm really grateful to live the lifestyle I do but I never want to like flaunt well I don't really care about materialistic things I don't want to like flex on people or anything but I'm very grateful to live a healthy and stable life so yeah I hope that answers that question this next assumption is you're your common app essays were about your exchange. If you're new here, I did an exchange in Germany for five months. It was a scholarship program through CBYX. And basically I lived with a host family and I went to a German school, all that fun stuff. And so yes, I did write a lot of my essays about my exchange. If you guys don't know what common app is, by the way, it's like a website where you can put all of your application information and then you can send it off to every single school. It makes it really convenient for applying to college. And normally there's a required common app essay, which is 650 words. And for that essay, I wrote about my exchange year and my mental health. I will definitely be sharing that essay with you guys as soon as I get my acceptance letters and whatnot back, which will probably be mid to late January. On the same topic of exchange, I got a lot of questions saying you regret leaving your exchange or you regret going on exchange. I actually regret nothing. I am so glad I got to have the experience that I did. And even though it definitely left a lasting impact on my mental health, I wouldn't change it for the world because I met so many amazing people people and it really gave me life experience that I was lacking. I've always kind of lived in like a sheltered area, always just had my safe little bubble and going abroad and branching out really taught me new stuff. Along with that, I don't regret leaving my exchange either because while it did teach me a lot of new lessons, I was really struggling and I know I probably wouldn't have been able to recover to the capacity that I did if I stayed any longer. Also by leaving early, I was able to come back and take classes that'll contribute to my college education. So although my year abroad was a little bit messy, I wouldn't change anything about it. My next assumption is you want to have kids when you're older. My mom is not gonna be happy with me on this. Hi mom, if you're watching. But I do not wanna have kids. Of course that might change when I'm older. I'm not saying like 100% I will never have kids, but it's just not really how I envision my future. I'm very much a goal-oriented person and I really wanna be successful in my line of work. And I feel like having kids would kind of like push that to the side because I would want my kids to be my top priority. And so that would put my work like as a second priority. So I don't know, I won't say for sure, but as of right now, I don't think I'm gonna have kids. This next assumption says, you'd rather stay at home than go out and party. I would definitely say that's pretty true. I mean, I didn't party at all last year. To be fair, I was like mentally ill, but um, yeah, I have a tendency to be a little bit of a homebody and I like hanging out with smaller groups. I don't like going to like big crazy parties with a bunch of people that I don't know. But I do like partying with my close friends. That's always fun. This next assumption says, you're not religious. Yeah. Yes, this is true. I am an atheist. I don't really believe in any higher being or spirituality or anything like that. My mom is religious and my dad is not. I was raised going to church, but over time I became really busy with sports and school. So I slowly stopped going and then I kind of did my own research and I formed my own opinion about what I believe. This next assumption says you've been slacking on learning German. That is so true. I've been so bad about it. Since I lived abroad in Germany, I became semi-fluent and I was able to hold a decent conversation with 
with a foreign speaker. But ever since I've come back to the US, I've been so bad about keeping up with my learning habits. It's kind of hard because there's hardly any German speakers, so I don't really have anyone to interact with and practice. But that's not an excuse. I should be using like online apps and stuff. I just have not been. But this is inspiring me, so I'm gonna download an app and start working on it again. This next one, again with the boys. It says lots of boys want to go out with you. No, I really don't think so. I've like never gotten asked out except for maybe in like seventh grade. It's not like, I don't know how to answer this without sounding weird. I think it's somewhat my fault because I don't really put myself out there that much. A relationship just isn't really like a big priority for me. So any homegirls out there who are single and have never been in a relationship, like we're the same. We have the same energy. Don't feel bad about it. Your person will come. One of these years, I'll find somebody. Okay, next question is, Kelly is your sister. Kelly is my best friend. She's in like every single one of my videos. Unfortunately, she's not my sister, but we are very, very close friends and we hang out all the time. So she's basically like a sister to me. This next assumption says you have seasonal depression. And then the girl who said this said she also does. And she's asking for tips, like how to deal with it, I guess. So yeah, I have seasonal depression it started last year when I was on my exchange. During the winter time, I got very, very depressed and low. And every year during like the winter months when it's really dark out and there's not much for me to do outside, I just feel very low, unproductive. I go into small depressive episodes. My biggest tip for this would just to be find hobbies that you can do indoors that are still gonna give you the same endorphin boost that being out in the sun does. So like in the summer or in the warmer weather, I love running outside. But in the winter when I can't do that, I go to the gym and I lift, which I find also gives me that endorphin boost and makes me feel productive. Also a way to keep the seasonal depression to a minimum is eating healthy and balanced meals, especially a lot of fruit and citrus because it kind of gives you that energy boost. I don't know, it just always helps me feel a little bit more energized and more productive throughout my day. It keeps me from crawling back into bed, you know? Okay, two more questions and then we're gonna be done. This assumption says you have a dog. I do not have a dog. I love dogs, but my dad does not like dogs. So instead I have a pet cat and she is literally the love of my life. I'll insert a picture of her right over here. She's the sweetest little baby. Her name is Blossom and I think she's also been in a few of my videos. And the final assumption says that you feel insecure even if you have no reason to. This is true and I think this is true for a lot of people. I get insecure about a lot of things, about how I talk, how I act, what I do, my future, what I post online, literally so many things. And I know a lot of people feel the same way and may feel judged by others or that they're not good enough for not doing enough and I just want to remind you that it's okay to feel insecure recognize those feelings but really try and put yourself in a positive headspace and I kind of try to put myself into a nihilistic point of view and remind myself that nothing really matters that much that picture you post on Instagram that you think you look weird in no one else is thinking about that nobody really cares that much about what you're doing which sounds mean but if you really think about it it's kind of nice because it gives you this sense of freedom that you're only living your life for yourself and that's how you should live your life other people come and go trends come and go different stages come and go the only thing that's consistent in your life is you and so do whatever you want do what makes you happy try your best to minimize those insecure feelings because those are the only things holding you back from achieving your full potential so yeah that's my little motivational pep talk get out there do what you love and try and spread that positivity with others on that note that is all i have for today's video let me know if you like these like q a slash assumption videos Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below some video ideas or if you have more assumptions about me, I will respond to your comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, you can go follow my other social medias. They're always linked in the description down below. I'm always pretty active on Instagram and you can keep up with what I'm doing in that moment. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye!